Okay, you can't see that. Okay. All right. Hi, I'm Erica Nino. I am a senior account executive with Sony Crackle. Thank you so much for having me here today. Um, I want to take you guys through um, what we're doing at Sony Crackle, how we're creating, curating, and streaming quality content um, in the over-the-top environment that um, is 100% ad supported. Um, I think we can all say we've, we're streaming video in our life. The media landscape is changing so fast, media consumption habits. Um, who in here has streamed video? this week, right? All of us. Um, so we're all starting to engage in a different way. Um, I love Crackle. <laughs> I do. Thank you. Thank you. I, I like to hear that kind of support. Um, so anyway, I want to take you guys through what we're doing here and um, really how we're helping to change the landscape and bringing consumers what they're asking for. So um, Sony is our parent company. Um, that allows us to leverage the best in class with Sony Pictures Television, shows like Breaking Bad, Sony Music, Sony Pictures Entertainment, Crackle Studios, and then PlayStation as well. Um, that allows us to have the best in class at our fingertips, and it can be a resource for us and then a resource for our partners when we put in, in the right situation. Um, so I touched on this in our opening, and we all raised our hands that we streamed video um, as media people, um, as consumers, it's no surprise that 40% of homes are streaming video on demand. When you take that a step further and you look at an audience of millennials, 18 to 34, 90% are streaming video at home. Um, so where are they going? 62% of cord cutters are replacing with connected TV. That's more than desktop, that's more than mobile, that's more than tablet. The fastest growing platform for video advertising is connected TV. And how does Crackle fit in there? We're reaching about 30 million visitors a month, 174,000 streams, 174 million streams. But I think some of the most interesting stuff here is how engaged consumers are with our platform. We have a 95% ad completion rate, and users are spending up to 327 minutes engaging with our content. When we break that out um, and look at, at actual performance of campaigns, it's clear that advertising on Crackle has impact. All of our completion rates are well above 90%, 100% viewable in app. Um, and then most importantly, we're creating lift and driving consumers to take action. So who is our audience? They are 54% male, 70% um, fall in that 18 to 49 range. They're 28 people years old as a median age, but we talk about them as rechargers. These are people that have a busy work life, they have a busy social life. When they come home and they want to interact with content, they want to be entertained, they want to do it on their own schedule. They want to stream what they want, when they want, how they want it. Um, these are early tech adopters and they have a high household income of 75k plus. So we're bringing them programming that's curated much the way a linear TV network would be. So think of something like AMC or FX. We're partnering um, and licensing content from Lionsgate, from Columbia Pictures, from NBC Universal to create a library of content that's over 1,600 hours a month. So there's a huge breadth of content and we're updating that monthly. Um, I'll get into this in a little bit, but we're also creating original content, which offers us the opportunity to partner together for brand integration, but then also brings the consumer something special that they're only getting from Crackle. So with that curation in mind is our always-on approach. It's programmed just like linear TV. So when the consumer comes into the Crackle app, there is something playing. Um, we've curated a, a, an experience from um, they can settle right in and watch what's playing right there. They can scroll, they can search, they can binge, just like they would with any streaming service. It's the best of linear TV, and it's the best of a streaming service. What this does from an ad perspective is allow us to day part as well. So where can you find Crackle? Um, our hope is anywhere you consider your living room. Whatever the glowing screen in your life is, we want to be there. So the gaming consoles, streaming consoles, smart TVs. Um, we're even partnering with Delta to, when you're on a plane, that we can consume our content there. So how can you work with us? Um, we want to. We think of, the, of Crackle as being incremental to any digital video or linear TV buy that you're making. Um, this is a cord cutting audience that's hard to reach in other places. Um, it's incremental to what you're already doing. Um, and there's a number of different ways that you can partner with us. 
So we'll work with you on any of your third-party ad verification from Nielsen to Comscore. And we've also partnered with Adobe as our DMP. So we can take our own first-party registration data, layer on top second and third-party data, and really laser target the focus that, that you're looking for. I think what's interesting about this is that it's addressable TV. This is a TV that can, that can hit your target where they're engaging, um, and it does it as an incremental reach to the linear buy that you're already making. There is a spot for your linear buy, absolutely. It's powerful, it's effective. Um, but when you're high on frequency and you need more reach, we're a great addition. Um, these are untouched eyeballs. This is an unduplicated audience. So Crackle is a studio and a distribution um, arm. We have we are creating content and we're distributing. And what that does is allow us to keep our audience in mind when we're creating the content. We know what they want from us and we know how to bring it to them. So with that in mind, Sony is investing heavily in us and we're creating strong Crackle originals. One thing just to point out is that uh, a lot of the originals that have already are already running with us, we're in second, third seasons. Um, things are coming back. So we know that they resonate well with our audience. What does that mean for you? It's the opportunity for you to partner with us early in the game. With the production in-house with Sony, we're able to partner with you to do derivative content, to do product integrations. From the time that we're scripting, we can pull you into the process and make it collaborative from step one. So I wanna introduce you guys to some of our originals and I have some clips to share here. Um, so I hope you all know Jerry Seinfeld and I hope you're all familiar with Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee, but this is our two-time Emmy-nominated flagship show. Um, Jerry Seinfeld is in his sixth season with us, riding around in cars, talking to comedians about nothing, um, but it's awesome. It's funny, it's engaging, the cars are awesome. Um, and this season we have um, Julia Louis-Dreyfus, Steve Harvey, um, Stephen Colbert, so Joe Dirt 2, um, the most unlikely sequel ever um, with our mulleted friend uh, Joe Dirt. Um, this is a passion project for David Spade. He spent 10 years trying to make this movie and the, um, there is a huge cult following around it. So we launched just last week. We're already blowing away our predicted numbers. We're showing blockbuster, block, box office blockbuster type numbers. Um, it has a star-studded cast with David, Squ David Spade um, and Christopher Nolan. Um, I'm sorry, Christopher Walken. Let's take a look. That's Christopher Walken. <laughs> So the get, get it right. <laughs> so the art of war. Um, this is our first one-hour um, drama on Crackle, and um, again, you're going to see Sony star power behind this. Dennis Quaid, Kate Bosworth. Um, this takes a look at sort of the the seedy underbelly of the glamorous New York auction world. Think of it as our house of cards. Um, we're filming right now in Montreal. This is big budget, really beautiful stuff that we're really excited about. Um, and this is gonna launch in Q4 of this year. So on another note, Super Mansion is a lot more, is a sort of a fun thing that we do. Um, if you guys are familiar with Robot Chicken on Adult Swim, um, that is an Emmy winning production created by Seth Green. Um, so Seth Green is producing this, Brian Cranston in Breaking Bad is the lead, and it follow, it's a stop motion animation that follows this kind of like ragtag group of superheroes and they live together in this house. It's a lot of fun and it's like just a cool little fact is that this stop motion animation takes so long, it's so intricate to create that sometimes it can take a whole day to film just minutes of content. So let's take a look. This is a funny clip. Sports Jeopardy is bought, brought to us by the fame producer of Wheel of Fortune and Jeopardy. And think of it like you would linear Jeopardy with a sports twist. We have famed sportscaster Dan Patrick hosting it. Um, and it, this year, we're going into our second season. So this year, we're going to follow uh, follow contestants as they go week to week, just like Linear Jeopardy would. Let's take a peek. Dead Rising Watchtower is a sequel to a full uh, is a sequel that to a one that uh, to Dead Rising that we ran last year. Um, so it ran in winter of last year, and it's based on an, uh, an Xbox game. We bought the rights to the story. Um, again, we're just, we're, we're, 
creating content that speaks to our 18 to 34 recharger millennial audience. Um, and we know that they're gamers. Um, so this, again, with huge Sony star power with Justin Metcalf, um, this follows him um, as he uh, in the zombie apocalypse. So take a peek. Chosen is one of our original series. We're in season four with this, and this year we're spinning it out from 30 minutes to 60 minutes. Um, it's what the audience was asking for, and I think it's gonna play really well. So imagine that your door, doorbell rings one day, and you get this beautiful box, and inside of it is a gun, and a photo, and a clock, and it's essentially saying, you're it. Um, it's high suspense, thriller type stuff, where you have to go find this person and kill them before you get killed. Um, so again, we, we spun it out to 60 minutes. We really think that this longer format is going to work for this, so let's take a peek. And the original series startup is launching in Q1 of next year, and this one follows sort of three unlikely tech startups as they try to chase their own American dreams. One is a money launderer, one is a, um, is a the ex-con son of an ex-mob boss, um, and one is a, is a sort of tech genius, and they come together to create um, their own startup and um, follow through their own American dream, maybe not always on the right side of the law. So let's take a peek at that too. So with all of that in mind, I also want to um, point out that PlayStation um, is the number one selling game console, and um, when we partner that with Crackle and PlayStation View, which is launching in key markets right now, um, we can reach 80 million cord cutting millennials, um, or, or an audience of 80 million cord cutters um, a month. So really it's huge numbers and we're able to tap into that through um, across our audience. So thank you guys so much for your time. I think the takeaway here is that um, Crackle brings you incremental audience. We do it, um, we bring you addressable TV, TV that you can you can measure, and we're reaching um, an audience with quality content, and we're able to work with you anything from, you know, Nielsen and Comscore, where we want to talk to a specific audience, to integration. So we'd love to partner with you. Thank you.